Hello, this is Christina Entrott with Codwell Banker Realty Corp in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to go over how to use DocuSign, the electronic signature platform system, within your ZipForms Plus account. The first thing that you're going to want to do is log into your ZipForms Plus account and then select the transaction and the forms that you would like to send out for signature. Once you have them open, you will see your form. You then can choose from the top here the e-sign button. You can choose sign this form if you just need one form to be sent or if you have another form to be sent with your agreement you can also choose to sign multiple forms. For this training session we're going to do multiple. Here you're going to check off the documents that you would like to send for electronic signature. I'm going to choose the standard agreement for sale as well as a consumer notice. Once I have all my forms checked off that I would like to send, I'm going to choose the next button. From here I can decide to arrange the order of my documents. If you need to move one you can just use the drag and drop option and then I will select the next button. In this section, you're going to choose the people that you would like to send the electronic signatures for. I'm going to choose my two buyers, Chris and Christina. Once I have my two buyers or my two clients checked off, you can then select the Done button. Here you will see both of your buyers. If you hover near their name, you will see a pencil where you can edit. Here is where you're going to import their email address. Once you have their email address in, you'll click the Save button and then hover, click the pencil for the next one. After clicking Save, you will see both of your buyers will be in here as well as their email addresses. From the top here, we'll then select the next button. This will then pull us into our DocuSign account. Now usually this will take a moment, so you just have to be aware of that because it is pulling over your forms. You're going to start on the first page of your form. And as you can see, that is a consumer notice. Now on the first page, there isn't anywhere where we need our clients to sign, so we're just going to skip over that. The second page does have a section here where we will need our clients to sign and date. Now from our options over on the left side, we have our tags. What I'll do is I'm starting, and as you can see here at the top, for Chris first. I'm going to pull over the signature tab and drop it where I would like him to sign. Next I will do the same thing with the date signed. To switch off to Christina from my drop down at the top, I can now select on her to send and tag for signature. So I'll drag and drop her signature and then do the date signed as well. Next, it, I'm going to scroll down and it will take me to my standard agreement of sale. Now, anytime you send this out originally from your ZipForms account, ZipForms will already tag the document for you. So if we scroll down, we can see that I have both of my tags already in there. Now, just be mindful that you will have to check and just make sure each tag is in the right place and it is the right tag. I can see here above the arrow it does say initial so we know this is the right one. Now the yellow tag just means who I'm currently on so that would be Christina. The gray tag is for my second person. So if I click on that I can see now I'm switched to Chris. You're going to keep scrolling and just make sure that your document and all the tags are correct so the next one is good. This one is good as well. Both my tags are still there. And now we get to the inspections. 
because zip forms already tag the document for us, they do tag both sides. So you can see both here, the elect and wave are all tagged. They are also tagged with optional tags, meaning that my clients can easily skip over the section without selecting any. It's not, the optional tags are not required signatures. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna delete them all out and then only tag the part of the document that we want to elect or waive. Now I can go and select on each and then choose on the red X to delete them. But another thing I can do is with my cursor, draw a big box around multiple tags and then select this option up here and that will delete them. So let's do that again, draw my box so all of them are selected and then the delete button. I will want to do this for all of the inspections since they are all, all optionally tagged. So we'll draw the box with our cursor, highlight, and you can see that they're all now highlighted in blue so that means that they were within that box I just drew. And then these last few ones. I'll need to be deleted. Now I will need to tag the right, the side that I would like to choose. So for home property inspections, I'm going to tag whether I want them to initial elect or waive. I'm going to elect the home inspection. So I'll drag the initial tags. And as you can see, I'm dragging the initial, not the optional initial. So now I'll switch on to Christina and drop her. Next, I will then tag the initial again in the next section where I would like them to tag. So I am going to elect to do the wood infestation report inspection. You will drag and drop these tags for each and every test on dependent on the side that you would like them either to elect or to waive. Once you have all those tests done, you can scroll down to the next section and make sure both of your tags are there. If we keep scrolling down, we will see that the pages are also highlighted in yellow over here, so we know that there is a tag within that page. We'll keep scrolling and just double checking initial and initial. So that is good. Now for this section here, you may notice that there are a few tags here that do have the little optional sign underneath them. What we'll wanna do is just like the other ones, we'll wanna delete each of these and then choose the standard initial tag to drop. Because, like I said, they were originally optional tagged, my clients could easily skip over that part without tagging the document whatsoever. I want to switch to my other client, Christina, and now drop her tags in the same area. Next, we'll scroll down and we see that we have the signature tabs where they are needed, but we will need to adjust the date. We can easily just pick them up and drag and drop them into the area they need to be in. Lastly, we'll check the rest of the document just to make sure the tags are still there. And as we can see, they are all in the correct spaces. Perfect. Now, once we are done, we can select the send button, but just so you're aware, anytime you send a document, 
within your Zip Forms account to DocuSign. DocuSign is always going to skip over the first selected page. What that means is that when I choose to put in my clients, they're going to be sent the document in order as one and two. So my first home buyer will be sent the document, they'll sign it, and not until they are finished completing signing it will it get sent to my second buyer. To change that, we can use this go back screen. And here it has my clients listed. Now we can see from this order diagram that this is showing the order that the document will be sent. So I will be sending it to Chris first, he will sign, then it will go to Christina, and then once she signs, it will be completed and sent to everyone. Now, if we wanted to change that, so Chris and Christina get the document at the same time so they can both look over it, all we have to do is change this number two to number one. This will now show that it will get sent from our agent. Christina and Chris will get it at the same time. And then once they both have signed it, it will be completed and a copy will be sent to everyone. I recommend sending it to the clients at the same time so then they both can look at it on their computers and review it before they sign. Now to get back to my tags, we just have to scroll down and go to the next button. And this will take us back to our document. Now we already know that we double checked it so it's good to be sent out. So now we can click the send button. We can choose to preview it if we would like, which would just show us per each person what the view is like of what they'll be signing. And then once we've previewed it, we can click the purple send button to send out to our clients. It will let us know that it is in the process and once it's been officially sent. Once we click on this close sign, it will take us back to our original zip forms document. So this is how you send out a document from within your zip forms account to DocuSign. Thank you.